Can you say hi, Pollux? <laughs> this is Pollux. This is what I've been doing for the past, I guess, six days now. We adopted Pollux the day after Christmas. It completely, y'all, it completely happened by chance. This was not intended. I did not intend to get a dog. We have Maxie, our little white schnauzer, but now we have, we have Pollux. So let me tell you the story of Pollux. The Saturday before Christmas it was late at night. I got on the Facebook page for our local Humane Society. Why in the world I did that, I have no idea. But for some reason, I got on our Facebook page, or their Facebook page, and there was a picture of Pollux. This sweet little face. And it was only a picture of his face, basically exactly like that. You couldn't see his body. There was no information about him. Nothing. All it said was that Pollux had been in the shelter for 491 days and that they were hoping that he would be adopted so that he could be in a home on Christmas. Y'all, it broke my heart, literally. You know, the shelter's closed. I can't get any information on him. I have no idea what kind of dog he is, how big he is, what does he weigh, like what's his temperament, I have no idea. We decided that on Monday morning, we were going to go to the shelter and look into Pollux. So when they opened, first thing I called them and I got some information on what kind of dog he was. They had no idea. He was brought in with a litter of puppies when he was just several weeks old and he has spent his entire life in the animal shelter. They have a little meet and greet room at the shelter. So the girls and I went in, Randy wasn't with us, and they brought Pollux into the room. And we figured out he's 45 pounds. Don't know what breed he is, but he is scared to death. Literally, he's scared of everything. He has been in the shelter his entire life. Never really been around people. Um, just always around other dogs, barking and all the aggression and the noise and the concrete floors and all the echoing in the shelter. That's all he knows. So we spent about an hour and a half with Pollux and he would not look at us. We couldn't touch him. He was cowered down. He started to open up just a little bit. If there was a sound in the shelter, if a dog barked, if somebody talked, he would just cower down. Christmas Eve, wake up. Cannot stop thinking about the dog. Told Randy, I wanna go get the dog. So then we started talking about, well, what does this mean? We've never had a big dog. We've always had miniature schnauzers, under 20 pounds, little dogs like Maxie. You know, we're not, our house is not equipped for a big dog. We talked it through. I didn't tell the girls. We decided that we were going to go get him. And so I printed out a little picture of him and wrapped it as a gift and put it under our tree. So on Christmas morning, there was a gift that said, to my family on the tag. And they thought it was for Maxie. And when they opened the gift, it was actually from Polly. Maxie, what is it? Maxie, what is it? He said, I don't know about no brother. <laughs> He's coming. Oh, he's so sweet. He's so sweet. So, it's Christmas Day. So, we talked about it all day. What are we going to do? How are we going to get him? You know, all the stuff. The shelter's closed. So, first thing, 
Thursday morning, day after Christmas, we are at the shelter the minute they open. And I had sent a message to the shelter, hoping that they would see it, letting them know that we were gonna come adopt Pollux. And when we got there, they had given him a bath and trimmed his toenails, and he was ready for us. And so, this is the moment when they brought him out to greet us. So, now that we have Pollux home, we quickly realized, because Pollux has never been out of the shelter, he doesn't know how to go up and down the stairs. He has no idea. Pollux has no normal dog instinct. He does not lift his leg to pee. He doesn't have the instinct to mark his territory because I guess growing up in the shelter and there's just so many dogs and smells every, everywhere, he doesn't have the instinct to mark his territory. And so when I would take him out on a leash, he would not pee standing next to me. Did you hear me talking about you? He is smelling the pillow on my couch and today he's been super inquisitive. He spends most of his day just investigating our house. He's never smelled food cooking or had table food. Just the, the general sounds of our house. If we turn on a water faucet or basically if anybody moves, he jumps because he is so anxious and so freaked out because he's never been in a house. If he does decide that he's gonna sit down or lay down, he will lay on this cold kitchen floor. See, like he's gonna do it right now. He's used to just being in the shelter, a cold concrete floor. Then we realized this morning that he does not like it when my husband puts on a hat. He will start barking if Randy puts on a hat or if Randy comes home from work and Randy has on like boots and he comes clumping in the house, Right, Pollux? Don't like the boots. No boots, no hat, gotta come off. But this is what he does. He falls asleep standing up. Last night he fell asleep, literally standing up and fell over. <laughs> With his head up, he's, he's just gonna fall asleep. Yep. Oh, you want me to pet you, do ya? You wanna pet ya? But look how sleepy this dude is. So, as far as Maxi, day one did not go well. Maxi did a lot of growling at Pollux, a lot of running from him. Pollux was sort of inquisitive as to what Maxi was up to, but not really because he's used to being around other dogs. Day two, Maxi decided he was going to check out Pollux. Pollux was fine with it. But when Pollux wanted to check out Maxi, that did not go so well. So what's funny is, whatever Maxi does, Pollux does too. If Maxi goes outside, Pollux is gonna follow him. If Maxi sniffs something, Pollux has to sniff it too. So Pollux is actually learning from Maxi. He is learning how to be a dog from watching Maxi be a dog and it Y'all, is so sweet to just, just to see him like calm down and start to trust us 
and learn his environment and learn from Maxie just in six days has been so incredible. Our vet says that he has some Border Collie in him. That Border Collies are super smart, intelligent dogs. They want to be loved, they want to do the right thing, and we can certainly tell that that is him. He wants to do the right thing, he just doesn't know how to do the right thing. He's never been taught or had the opportunity to learn. So Pollux is living in a new world now. He's a house dog. We are gonna order him a calming bed, or one of the donut anxiety beds that we have for Maxie. And I talked about this bed, y'all, in another video. I will put it up here somewhere. This bed has been a life changer for our Maxie, and we're gonna get one for Pollux. He looks, oh, looks pretty comfortable to me. Oh, oh, garage door. Randy's coming home. We'll see what he does here. It's New Year's Day, y'all. It is our 18th wedding anniversary, and he just went and got us Taco John's. We'll see what Pollux does when he comes home. I guess he is learning the garage door, or maybe Maxie barks when he hears the garage door, so Pollux reacts to Maxie. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I am not used to that sound. I'm used to little dog high pitch barks. Alex has a deep, big dog bark. And he only barks at Randy, like never at anybody else. My God, <laughs> you almost went down. He's strong and he's got full force. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, Pollux, are you having fun? And don't jump up at me. Are you having fun? Look, his tail's up. <laughs> Mics are not about running. He did. Pollux, you want to go home? You want to go home? Come on, let's go home. Ooh. <laughs> Can't be out that door. Oh, dude, Real fast. Dirt Pollux, Pollux, we've been to the dog park, huh? That was fun, wasn't it? Everybody's so tired. Pollux, did you have fun? He will put his paws on our countertop. Get it. Get it, Pollux. Oh, there you go with it. <laughs> and he will get something super sneaky and take off with it. So it never occurred to me that it, it never even crossed my mind that he can reach the countertop, but oh, he can reach the countertop. Can you say hey? But y'all, he has got the softest little velvet ears. They are so soft. And he's got all, he can't see, come in here, come in here. Come in. He's got all this little soft fur on his neck. And he kind of acts like a deer. You know how like deer are just super skittish? You see them out and they're always alert and looking and they just dart off at, you know, for no reason at all. That's kind of what he does. He wants us all to pet him. He loves it. He just doesn't want us to know that he loves it is, is what we're figuring out. So we're getting to know each other around here. This is day six of Pollux being in our house. And I'm gonna keep you all posted. This is, I think, gonna be a new thing on my YouTube channel. The Adventures of Pollux. Pollux learning how to be a dog. Oh, you liked that, did you? 
He liked it. Mm -hmm. Right, Pollux? Uh, what are you two up to? What are you two up to? Oh, Maxie, you gonna try to put your booty on him? You gonna push into him?